What Freddy Krueger does on a pair of sticks is almost beyond description. Thanks to some killer camera equipment, we don't have to try. We'll just let the current world record holder show you how he approaches every single jump. And for the record, we're pretty sure you don't need to try this at home. Hey guys, I'm Freddy Krueger and today we're going to take a, a view through one of my jumps. I'm going to try and give you a little bit of the perspective of what I see and kind of what's going on. Right here, this is the first critical zone, and this is what we call the 600 foot ball. It's 600 feet from the top of the jump, and we use that to base our timing for our counter cut. So on a day like today, with a little wind in my face, I'm going to try and cut about 615 feet from the jump, or about 15 feet in front of that buoy, and set up the whip for my turn to the jump. Okay, so this is critical zone number two, but really the most critical of the whole jump, and this is where the magic happens in terms of Am I too late or am I too early? Obviously, if I'm too late, I hit the green part of the ramp and my career's over. If I'm too early, I'm just gonna get there. It's not gonna be the kind of driving cut into the bottom of the jump that I need. So when I make the turn from here, I already know, am I gonna take this jump or am I gonna pass and ski around? Because there's not time when I land on the second side of the wakes for me to make that decision. So it all happens right here out of this turn. Okay, so here we come into critical zone three, which is ramp impact. And my goal is to hit about two feet from the bottom right corner and I've already committed out of my turn I'm either taking it or I'm not I'm gonna hit the ramp at about 70 mile an hour and I've got about 0.1 seconds on there to get my lift and transition through and have a really clean departure if I don't if I'm a little earlier I'm a little late my skis are slipping and sliding all the energy and all the work I've done and created goes right out the window so as we come into zone 4 that's gonna be the air form and in the first 70 to 80 feet of the flight is, is just really a check, am, am I soaring or am I crashing? It, it, it literally takes my system that long to kind of figure out where I'm at. And when things are good, I'm gonna climb out 35 feet high and hopefully I'm gonna get in a really good air form press, ride the skis on the wind and we can feel that up there and try and milk as much as we can. And hopefully we cruise in for a good landing into zone five, which is 240 feet down the lake. So hopefully that gives you guys a little bit of a perspective of what it's like to take a jump with me. And uh, you can see there's an awful lot going on in the 18 seconds from the time I pull out to the time I get to ride one of these babies away. So I hope you enjoyed it. 